Segador has told me that there's a remote farm in a desert of hardened lava where they still prepare these giant sharks to eat. The hanging chunks of flesh don't give away any clues as to what the whole animal might look like. Gwydion Hildebrandsson's family has prepared Halkuttle meat at their isolated farm since his grandfather's day. Hello. This is the, the Kester Halkuttle. Here it is in his the final stage of the process. So this, I can see it dripping. So this is what is just in the air to, yeah, to dry it's, out. Yeah, it's drying it? here to get a better texture. When the meat is fresh, it's toxic. So that's why we do this fermentation process. And after the fermentation, we hang the pieces up, up here. And this process, this is over 400 years old in Iceland, so it's a very old process. Learning that its flesh is laced with poison only adds to the sinister aura surrounding this mysterious shark. Apparently, fermentation breaks down the toxin, but releases a pungent smell of ammonia. The flesh I'm about to taste smells of urine. It's got a really strong aftertaste. It really kicks in. It really kicks in in the back of the throat after you've uh, taken the first bit. It's not like anything I've tasted before. Yeah, it's unique. But I can imagine, though, you know, in, in the old days, I mean, you've got a big fish. You can't all eat it all in one go. It's wasteful just to throw it away. You've got to do something with it. So this yeah. is a traditional method. Oh, it's, it's strong when it hits the back of your throat. Mmm. Mm, there's fumes coming out. It's, it's like very, very strong cheese in some in some ways, but there's also a very definite fish element there. How big is the whole animal? They are from maybe uh, 10 till 20 feet, and from then, then, then they are maybe 1,000 till 2,500 pounds. Wow. So, they, yeah, they are quite big. You don't happen to have a... A whole one here, by any chance, no, Steve, that no. I can have a look at. But uh, give me a second. Right. Oh, right, OK. This is his mouth. This is a jaw. These jaws are peculiar. This shark has two quite distinct types of teeth. So these ones will grip the, the food, whatever it is, and, yeah. then, and then they shake the head, is it? Yeah. So, so, so these ones will then cut across. Oh, I just almost cut myself there. Yeah. yeah. Right. These jaws belong to a potent predator. Seal, whale, and even polar bear meat and body parts have turned up in its stomach. It comes from big boats, big trawlers, right. who catch them accidentally. My grandfather used to do it. He used to catch them. So how would your grandfather catch these? They used an ankle with a chain on it, and they put uh, maybe a seal meat on it, or yes. meat from a horse. Right. So a big hook on a chain and a big bait. Yeah. Wow. If I want to see a live one of these, I need to go and, 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 and talk to somebody on yeah. one of the big boats. Yeah. Yeah. Things have taken a very dramatic and strange turn. Who would have thought that in these waters there is a massive shark that grows to well in excess of 1,000 pounds? The only predatory sharks I know of that grow that big can't survive in these near Arctic seas. And just from those teeth alone, I can tell that it's not like any shark I've encountered before. But these people here have been catching it and eating it for centuries. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like the River Monsters page.